Smart factory solutions for any mix, any volume. Total integrated solutions, allowing you to focus on your business while we manage your production challenges. Welcome to the Kaizen booth here at IPC Apex. I'm delighted to be joined by Debbie Carboni, who's the Global Product Manager for El Electronics. Yes. Good to meet you. Okay. Um, we're standing here in front of the Kaizen Analyst. This is a product you brought out a year, two years ago, maybe. Yes. Um, uh, but Three years now. Three years now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but you've had a couple of minor uh, upgrades and tweaks to it, so let's go through it and explain to okay. some of our viewers how it works. Absolutely. We've actually had the PCS and uh, it, traceability where you can automate your concentration um, and you can also collect that data. That's been a, a valuable tool to helping customers keep their process, their cleaning process within specifications. With the Kaizen Analyst and the PCS, having the data collection from the cloud available gives you a really a, a unique ability to, to really analyze the statistics um, of various variables that can control that. You can help it to troubleshoot your process. Let's say you have a problem within your pro manufacturing process that you, you learn about. You can actually go back and reference that data in order to help resolve it, but also quarantine and figure out what was that root cause. Right. So, so this is a product that you would you would actually add uh, to existing machines uh, and possibly to some of your legacy equipment. Absolutely, a lot of the older equipment, uh, you know, it's not uncommon for you to see a machine that has basically analog switches, and there's no PCS or, or, or I should say. Uh, computer or data analytical um, processes that that machine has the ability to collect. And so therefore, when you have a problem, uh, you're really limited into the manual operation and the manual readings that were taken if there were any at that period of time. So being able to retrofit this onto any machine and collect that data is very powerful. It, it not only helps with the troubleshooting, but it also helps with your process control. Uh, it also has the intelligence so that you can identify when you go outside of your process control. So if you have a, an out of spec uh, concentration or temperature, which are two very important factors within your process, it's going to help you identify those immediately and address them. It's also going to help with traceability, I assume. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You know, with, with technology, um, it, data collection and that traceability is so important in, in in providing reliable products today. Uh, having the the information of when a product was run, what time, having it date stamped, time stamped, um, the concentration that it saw, where it was in the bath life, where it is in, in temperature, really is empowering and it also gives the customer and their customers a sense of security in order to, to ensure reliability and right. quality. So let's take a closer look at the product itself. I mean, we've got various uh, areas that it's measuring here. Uh, the, the concentration is obviously, uh, is that the concentration display at the moment, that's obviously one of the critical factors. Absolutely. So this is actually monitoring our, um, our cleaning tool that's set up in our Nashville lab. So it's directly viewing what the concentration is right at the moment and also what the temperature is right at the moment. Um, you also have the capability of looking to what the concentration and temperature history was over a select period of time. So let's say that you notice that you had some problems with a, a product that was run yesterday. If you can narrow that down to a time frame, you can actually go into the screen and look at that specific data. Did you have any alarms that went off that went out of spec? Were you close to your your process window? And how can we make sure that, that you know, is it a, a cleaning issue or should we be looking at another process in order to resolve this? Right. And, and so how does the alarm system work? Is it, is it a traffic light system? Uh... It is. So if you notice, the PCS uh, has a light tower here where you have a green light, a yellow light, and red light. Uh, in addition to that physical alarm, you have an audible alarm. And then the system has the intelligence to be able to set up a, a text, an automated text message or email to whoever is responsible for that cleaning process. So rather than 
running a thousand boards over the next hour before it actually gets acknowledged and resolved, the engineer that's responsible for this process comes in and immediately can take care of that and make sure that you're within your cleaning specifications. So it can go to a tablet, it can go to a watch, it can go to... It, absolutely, tablet, watch, uh, iPhone, uh, Android phone, you name it, as long as you have. You have this, this software dwells in the cloud itself. So what else is significant to measure on here? We're looking, I see we have current temperature. How important is that? Temperature is extremely important. Uh, you know, various different fluxes in PACE, they are very temperature uh, dependent in order to become soluble at certain rates. So dialing in that cleaning process, you're, you're really measuring not only your concentration, but that temperature. You also need to make sure that you're within understanding where um, your bath life is so you know am I at the end of my bath is think of it as cleaning dishes at home you know at the first of the of the, when you first start cleaning dishes the the soap is very sudsy and and as you move to the end of that bath and you've cleaned a lot of those greasy pans you know that bath there, there, yeah. there's lots of contamination and, and it's not quite as sudsy so knowing where that is and also being able to predict where you are in your bath life is also extremely important so if you look at um, the various different, this is actually the various different settings. We monitor the wash pump hours, but we also monitor how many bath hours you have. Because just because your machine has the bath in it does not mean that you have been running 24 7, the pump has been on. Um, so it's, it's really important to understand where those where those settings are and where you are in your bath life. And then actually when you get in and you know that you have a certain number of bath hours, you can actually predict it. And again, the software can send a text message or an email and say, within the next eight hours or whatever you decide to program in, you know, you're being sending an alarm so that you're now not going out of a crisis immediate, we have to change our, our bath. Okay. Good. So I, I noticed on this uh, screen here, we've got um, the concentration that's currently added. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the average concentration here at 14.91. So uh, is, there, uh, uh, is it important that that, stays, that level stays close to this one? or? Well, so this is actually telling you how much chemistry you've added um, over the period of since you switched out your bath. And this is telling you over that period of time, what is my concentration being? You ideally want this average concentration to be pretty close to what your actual concentration is. Uh, what is also really important is to know, okay, over those period of time I've had, I've added this amount of chemistry and I've really run only this number of hours. Do I have an equipment process problem? Am I adding too much water? Do I have a valve that's malfunctioning? Um, is the pump not, you know, has something changed in my process? So you can use it to to really identify machine issues as well. Right. Well, Debbie, I want to thank you for giving us a run through on the, the, the latest version of Analyst. Um, uh, it's nice to really understand in more detail what it, what it actually does. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> okay, it's a pleasure. You. Thank you.